Hi there, welcome to Sterlings Global. My name is Jay and I'm one of the specialists in Sterlings Global, a UK-based accounting firm specializing in traditional business and e-commerce. Today, our discussion will focus on how to quickly become an expert in VAT. First, let's go with the basics. What is VAT? Some of you may already have an idea what it is, but for the benefit of our discussion, VAT is a tax charged on the price of goods and services sold by businesses. The current standard VAT rate in the UK is 20%, although some goods and services are charged at a reduced rate of 5% or zero rated at 0%. The VAT system is designed to be a self-assessment tax, meaning businesses are responsible for calculating and paying their own VAT liability. Now that we know what VAT is, let us now proceed to what you need to do to become a VAT expert quickly. Number 1. Know the rules of VAT registration. Businesses in the UK must register for VAT if their annual turnover is over a certain threshold, which is currently at £85,000. So, knowing the rules for VAT registration is vital if you want to advise businesses on whether they need to register for VAT. Number 2. Get familiar with VAT returns. A VAT return is a form that businesses use to report the VAT they have charged and paid. VAT returns are usually filed quarterly, although some may file monthly or annually. Understanding how to complete a VAT return is essential to become a VAT expert. Number 3. Know the VAT rates and exemptions. One of the most important things you need to remember is the VAT rates and exemptions. As mentioned, there are currently three VAT rates in the UK, the standard rate, the reduced rate, and the zero rate. Standard rate 20% Currently set at 20% and applies to most goods and services. Reduced rate 5% Applies to certain goods and services such as domestic fuel and power, children's car seats, and mobility aids for the elderly, among others. Zero rate, or zero percent, applies to certain goods and services such as most food, books, and children's clothes. In addition, some goods and services are exempt from VAT. These include things like education and training, medical treatment, and financial services. Keep in mind that businesses supplying VAT-exempt products or services cannot charge VAT on their sales, and at the same time, they cannot claim back any VAT that they paid on their purchases to use in producing VAT-exempt goods or renting VAT-exempt services. We only provided the tip of the iceberg, and it is now up to you to learn more about VAT rates and exemptions. You may visit the HM Revenue and Customs or HMRC website for a more detailed explanation of this topic. Number 4. Get familiar with VAT refunds. In some cases, businesses may be entitled to a VAT refund. This can happen if the amount of VAT they have paid on their purchase is greater than the amount they charged on their sales. If this is the case, the business can claim a refund from HMRC. Number 5. Keep up to date with VAT changes. One of the ways to be updated is by visiting the HMRC website. Any changes in VAT, rules, and regulations will always come from HMRC, so they will be the ones to publish these updates on their website. Another option is to subscribe to HMRC's VAT email alerts to receive alerts to any changes. Number 6. Seek out mentors and experts. You can seek out within your company or network or attend VAT conferences and events to meet experts in the field. Furthermore, talking to people who have been working with VAT for years can help you learn about the practical aspects of the tax system. Number 7. Practice and learn from experience. Finally, becoming a VAT expert requires practice and experience. The more you work with VAT, the more you learn about its complexities and nuances. You can also learn from your mistakes and use them as opportunities to improve your understanding of the tax system. 
And there you have it. We have covered everything you need to know about VAT, including the basic topics like VAT rates, exemptions, and refunds, and hopefully gave you some insight into how to become a VAT expert. And as always, before we end, we will be answering your frequently asked questions about what you need to know about VAT. Number 1. Can I charge VAT on sales made to customers outside the UK? If you are selling goods or services to customers outside of the UK, the VAT treatment will depend on the location of the customer and the nature of the goods or services. Generally speaking, if the customer is based outside the EU, you will not need to charge VAT. If the customer is based within the EU, you can zero rate the sale or apply the reverse charge mechanism. Number 2. What is making tax digital for VAT? Making tax digital for VAT is a government initiative that requires VAT registered businesses with a taxable turnover above the VAT threshold to keep digital records and submit their VAT returns using compatible software. This aims to make tracking of tax obligations easier for businesses and reduce errors in VAT returns. Number 3. What is the VAT flat rate scheme? The VAT flat rate scheme is another method of accounting for VAT that simplifies the VAT return process for eligible businesses. Under the scheme, instead of calculating the amount of VAT you owe based on your actual sales and purchases, you apply a fixed percentage to your turnover. The rate you use depends on the type of business you run. And that's it for today's video. Thanks for watching. We hope that you learned how to become a VAT expert. For more professional advice on your tax accounting needs, consult us by visiting the Sterlings Global website at sterlingsglobal.com. If you enjoy our content and want to explore more about similar topics, please like and subscribe to our channel. To stay updated, why don't you have a look at our other social media platforms? The links are in the description below. Once again, I'm Jay from Sterlings Global, and I will see you in the next video.